Hello all you Conan Exile fans out there. This is Former Rainy Gamester here with your beginner's guide to Conan Exiles and I am playing single player on the PlayStation 4. And in today's guide I'm going to show you why you need to set up your set altar ASAP. Now as you all know when you actually create your character you get to choose your religion and hopefully you chose set set because it is the best religion of the game I feel. It gives you the most perks. So let's right, get right to this and let's look into our feats here and scroll over to religion and scroll down to set. Now, as you can see, your very first altar, you get at level one. And this is the, um, the shrine to set, the old serpent. And this is the one that you'll have right away. And it will give you the Setite Ritual Knife, the Set Antidote, the Set Brazier. And then there's a list of burnt offerings that you will, will not use in this. So let's open this up and take a look at this. Now, if we look over here into our crafting, you will see there is a series of burnt offering here. These belong to the Isle of Sipta DLC. So you cannot do anything with these. So just ignore these. These are the pieces that you can actually make. The set brazier, which is very nice looking. The setite ritual knife is the knife you'll need to cut up any killed humanoids um, that you kill. Uh, instead of using your axe to cut them up, you will use this knife. And when you do, you will get the heart, uh, human heart, which you will need to make the set antidote. And the set antidote is an antidote to poison. So it will protect you from spider bites, spider poisons, uh, locusts, that kind of thing. And then you will also get the upgrade uh, to the altar. Now this will cost you brick and 30 manifestations of zeal and shaped wood and iron reinforcement. Now you're wondering, where do I get the manifestation of zeal? Well, you get one of those for each antidote that you make. And as you can see, I've got 999 over here and I did not kill 999 humans. <laughs> <laughs> at all the furries or black hands or whatever. Uh, no, I spawned those in just so I would have plenty to make uh, this upgrade. So you could see what that looks like. Now, the other important item in this um, altar is the snake arrow. Now, it takes 10 branches and one manifestation of zeal to make 10 snake arrows. And the beauty of these snake arrows is that they cause poison, which is very handy when you have a low level thrall and you need help, uh, need to help him take down a pretty uh, hefty en enemy. Yeah, it will poison uh, anything you hit with it. So that is, that is awesome. That's very, very handy to have. Between these two things right off the bat, um, yeah, they're pretty nice. And then uh, with your second altar, you need 30 manifestations of zeal, shaped wood and brick. And uh, we're gonna go ahead, I've got those already in there. So we're gonna get, go ahead and make one of those. And while we're doing that, we're gonna take a look in our feats. And again, scroll over to our religion and scroll down to the set shrines and of course the very first one is the one that you can make at level one and again this gives you the knife it gives you the antidote and it gives you the set brazier now this does not list you getting the arrow here but you do get it now i don't know why they haven't changed that but you do get it at level one as you could see now in level two um, you cannot get this upgrade until you're level 20. And once you re reach that, you can get the Sedite mask and all the armor. And now it lists the snake arrow. Uh, but that's, you do get it with the second one, obviously, but you get it as early as level one. So let's go back and take a look and see how we're doing here. Now oh, it's coming along. Okay. So the other thing I want to tell you is a uh, little bit of trivia here is that the uh, set religion is in the ma is the major 
plot point in the movie Conan the Barbarian that was made in 1982 with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, uh, it was usually referred to in the movie as the snake cult, but this is this is the spinoff to that in this game, which I think is really very interesting. It's cool. If you remember the bad guy, Mr. Doom there, <laughs> he wore the, the helmet, which I guess is, there's something similar in the Riddle of Steel DLC uh, to this game that he wore yeah yeah so it's uh i think it was um uh, james earl jones played that part i think i said his name right yeah oh i love them movies absolutely love them so when this game came out it was a big deal for me so uh almost there almost there so um again when you go to make your um ritual knife, you will want to put that in your wheel. So when you go to a black hand camp or any Defari camp and any humanoids you kill, instead of cutting them up with the ax, you want to use this knife. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Okay, we're just about there. And uh, again, um, this religion you can make as soon as you start the game. But I would recommend waiting until you've actually chosen the spot that you want to make your big build at because you cannot pick this altar up. It gets destroyed. And there it is. Yeah, just like that. Now, as you can see, once it upgrades, the footprint of the altar does not change at all. So you will not have to alter your building or any place that you've set it down. Uh, the thing that does change is the look of it. As you can see, this now looks like all marble up here. The braziers are gone. And now we have two snakes wrapping the, the one large snake in the middle. Yeah. So let's open this up. Let's see what we have here. So as you can see, you're still able to make the brazier and the ritual knife and the arrows and the antidote. Now we have the choker, we have the mask, the sandals, and the shindite. Yeah, this is all pretty decent armor, and it takes a human heart and light padding to make. But the all important one is the SETI mask. Now, this mask will protect you from the sandstorm, just like the sandstorm mask, only you can get it at level 20. You don't have to wait till level 30 to get a mask to protect you from the storm. The other nice thing about it is that it will protect you from any noxious gases like poison uh, orbs, you know, gaseous orbs, any of those it will protect you from. And most importantly in this area is it will protect you from the gases in the shattered springs. If you've attempted to go there before you have this mask or the sand mask, you will notice that there is a gas and you cannot enter in there. You will die. So you need this mask to, to get in there with. And that's all important because this is where you get your brimstone to make steel. Yes, make the steel fire to make steel. Um, yeah, all important. So all these items in this altar are extremely important for, for early game and no other religion offers these perks that this one does. So I highly recommend you setting it up as soon as possible and taking advantage of these great perks. Yeah. Well, all right, guys, if you liked, give me that big old like. And if you'd like to see more, just subscribe. And if you hit the little bell, you'll be notified when I post my next video. Well, all right, guys, until the next guide, GG out.